Consider two countries that share the same production function. Our output is equal to A multiplied by capital to the power 1 over 4 or 0.25 multiplied by labor to the power 3 over 4 or 0.75. But differ in the available resources. These are, so now we have two countries, country A and country B. They have the same level of technology or productivity. A is 6. They have the same capital, which is 4,000. But they have different labor. Country A, it has 600, while country B, it has higher labor, which is 620. So what will be the output level produced in country A? So we need to substitute in our production function, which is the Cobb Douglas production function. So we need to put the value of A, which is 6, the value of K, which is 4,000, the value of N, which is 600. Therefore, this is our production function, Y equal A, K to the power 0.25, N to the power 0.75. Then we'll substitute for A, it will be 6. K, it would be 4,000 to the power 0.25, and then N, 600 to the power 0.75. So this will give us an output of 5,784.68. Then, what about country B? We will substitute in the same production function. So we'll say here, for A, we will put 6. For K, we will put 4,000. And for N, we will put 620. Therefore, I will get 6 times 4,000 to the power 0.25 multiplied by 620 to the power 0.75. So this will give us an output of 5,928.71. So as you see that the output of country B is bigger than the output of country A. Why? Because they have the same productivity, they have the same capital, but country B has higher labor. So if country B has higher labor from this function, if N increases, our output will increase. And that's why the output in country B is bigger than the output in country A. Then, the second part of the question is, what is the marginal product of capital for country A? So in order to calculate the marginal product of capital, we need to substitute using the formula that we used earlier. So our MPK is equal to theta, and remember, theta is always the power of K. Because the power of k is theta, the power of n is 1 minus theta. Because all the time our production function is y equal a, k to the power theta, n to the power 1 minus theta. Therefore, theta multiplied by a multiplied by n over k, all of them to the power 1 minus theta. So what's our theta here? Our theta is 1 over 4, which is 0.25. So right here, 0.25 multiplied by a multiplied by n over k, all of this to the power 1 minus theta, it will be 1 minus 0.25, it will be 0.75. Then, for country A, we need to substitute A by 6, K 4000, and N 600. So if we substitute here, so our MPK will be equal to 0.25 multiplied by A of 6, multiplied by N of 600, divided by K of 4000, all of them to the power 0.75. So this will give us an MPK of 0 0.3615. So one way to do it is to use the formula. If you use Excel or if you like using the formula in the exam. What is the other way? Just write the production function with numbers and then get the first derivative. So what's our production function here? Our y equal, what's our a? 6 multiplied by k. What's our k? 4000 here. So I'll say multiplied by k to the power 0.25 multiplied by n to the power 0.75. So let's get the first derivative. So what would be our first derivative, which is mpk? So this means that other variables will be constant. So I'll say here 6, n to the power 0.75, and then get the power of k down. So I'll say here, multiplied by 0 0.25, and then subtract 1 from the power of k. So this will be multiplied by k to the power 0.25 minus 1. So this will give you negative 0.75. Then we could say that. Our formula is, our MPK is 6 multiplied by n to the power 0.75 multiplied by 0.25 multiplied by k to the power negative 0.75. Now you can substitute for the values of n and k. So this equals 6. Our n is 600 to the power 0.75 multiplied by 0.25 multiplied by k, which is 4000 to the power negative 0.75. If you use your calculator, you'll end up with the same MPK. 
So you have two ways, either use the first derivative or substitute in the formula. The next part of the question is, what is the marginal product of labor for country? So substitute in the formula, which we used earlier. So our MDN is one minus theta, and remember theta is the power of K, multiplied by A, multiplied by K over N, all of them to the power of theta. So I know that our power here is one over four, which is theta, one over four, which is equal to 0.25. So I know that one minus theta is one minus 0.25. It will give us 0.75 multiplied by a, multiplied by k over n, all of them to the power theta, which is 0.25. Then substitute for the value of a equals 6, k 4000, and n 600. So if we substitute here, it will give us 0.75 multiplied by 6, multiplied by 4000, divided by 600, all of them to the power 0.25. So this will give us MBN of 7.2309. What is the other way? The other way is plug in the numbers and get the first derivative of your production function. So we know that our output is equal to, what's our a? 6, k to the power 0.25, and n to the power 0.75. I'd like to get the first derivative for n. So this means that 6 and k to the power 0.25 will be constant. So our marginal product of labor will equal to 6 multiplied by k to the power 0.25, and then get the power of n down. So I will multiply it here by 0.75, and then from the power subtract 1. So say here multiplied by n, 0.75 minus 1 is negative 0.25. So this will be our MBN. Now plug in the values of k and n. So we know that our MBN is equal to 6 multiplied by k. What's our k? 4000 to the power 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.75 multiplied by n, which is 600 to the power negative 0.25. If you use your calculator, you'll get exactly the same answer as here, 7.2309. So you have two ways. The first one, just use the formula. Second way is get the first draft. The next part of the question is, what is the MBK for country B? So now we have the formula. So let's substitute in the formula, but now we will calculate it for country B. So we know that our MBK is theta multiplied by A multiplied by n over k to the power 1 minus theta. So our mpk is equal to, our theta is always the power of k, which is 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25, multiplied by a, multiplied by n over k, all of this to the power 0 0.75. So let's plug in the values for country b. a is equal to 6, k equal 4000, and n is 620. So our mpk will be 0 0.26, multiplied by a of 6, multiplied by n of 620, divided by k of 4000, all of this divided by all of this to the power 0.75. So this will give us an MBK of 0 0.3705. The next part of the question is calculate marginal product of labor for country B. So we will use the formula, or you can use the first derivative, but we'll use the formula since it will be easier. So our MBN is 1 minus theta multiplied by A multiplied by K over N to the power of theta. Remember, theta is always the power of K which is 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25. So 1 minus theta will be 1 minus 0 0.25. It will be 0 0.75 multiplied by A, multiplied by K over N, all of this to the power 0 0.25. So our MBN will be 0 0.75 multiplied by A of 6, multiplied by K of 4,000, divided by N, which is 620. And then all this will be to the power of 0 0.25. This will give us an MBN of 7.1718. The next part of the question is, provide an economic explanation for why the marginal product of labor in country A is different than the marginal product of labor in country B. So let's put all our results in this summary table. So here, we know that we have the same output, the same technology, same productivity, which is six and six. Our capital is the same. The only difference is labor. Labor is higher in country B compared to country A. So based on this formula, if labor increases, what will happen to our output? Labor is the numerator, so we know that output would be higher. And that's why we discover that our output, our production would be higher in country B compared to country A. What will happen to MBK? And what will happen to MBM? So we need to know the relationship. So what is the economic explanation? The economic explanation is that every time we increase labor, the marginal product of labor or its productivity, it will be lower. Why it will be lower? Because the law of diminishing marginal return. Which means if we increase 
live and capital is constant. What will happen? We hire a new worker. We don't give them a machine. We don't give them an office. We don't give them a laptop. We don't give them access to database. And that's why their productivity will be lower. That's why marginal product of labor will be lower. And that's why it covers that a country that has a higher labor, it will have a lower MPM. Why? Because when we hire one additional employee, it's a productivity will be lower because we didn't increase capital. Capital remains constant. And that's why here, if we'd like to draw it, our factors of production, we have labor here and we have capital. If labor increases, we increase, we hire more labor, but we didn't give them any machine or office or computer or database. Consequently, what will happen? Their productivity will be lower. Why will have lower productivity? Because we didn't give them enough machines, enough capital to use. Consequently, the relationship is if labor increases and capital remains unchanged, therefore the productivity of hiring one additional employee will be lower. Therefore, all the time there is a negative relationship between increasing labor and its productivity, MBM, marginal product of labor. This is our economic explanation based on the law of diminishing marginal return. But what about the mathematical explanation? So with the mathematical explanation, let's look at the formula of MBN. Our MBN is equal to one minus theta multiplied by A multiplied by K over M all to the power theta. So N here is a denominator. If we increase N, what will happen to the whole ratio? The whole ratio will go down. And that's why even mathematically, we can drive the negative relationship between N and MBN, which means when we increase labor, the marginal product of labor will go down. And you can apply the same concept with capital as well. If you increase capital, but we don't increase labor, consequently, the marginal product of capital will be lower. The next part of the question is provide an economic explanation for why the MBK in country A is different than the MBK in country B. So this is our summary table. We said that both countries have the same technology, same capital, but country B has higher labor. Consequently, they have higher output. So if they have higher labor and consequently they will increase output for the same capital. Therefore, what will be the productivity of each unit of capital, of an additional unit of capital? The productivity will be higher. And that's why it covers that MBK will be higher, which is 0 0.3705 compared to 0.3615. And the reason is, if we increase labor, our output will increase given the same capital, which means the productivity of an additional unit of capital will be higher. And that's why we already know before looking at the numbers that country B will have a higher MBK compared to country A. Why? Because country B has higher labor. What about the mathematical explanation? Let's look at the formula. This is the formula of MBK. Our MBK equal to theta multiplied by A multiplied by N over K to the power 1 minus theta. Our N here is a numerator. So if we increase the numerator, which is N, what will happen to MBK? It will increase. Therefore, even by looking at the formula, we can drive a positive relationship between labor and marginal product of capital. If we increase labor here, for example, country two has a higher labor. Consequently, the second country, which is country B, will have higher MBK. Therefore, the relationship is higher. Labor would result in lower MBN, but higher MBK. Therefore, we can say that higher N, it would result in lower marginal product of labor, as we see here. For country B has a lower MBM, but at the same time it will have higher MBK. So you can explain it using either the economic reasoning or the mathematical reasoning. Then assume that for the following, suppose that country A experiences an increase in the value of K. So now we'll change K for country A from 4000 to 4200. Suggest some event that can produce an increase in K. So what do you think, guys? When K will be higher or be lower? So K can only increase over time if our investment is bigger than our maintenance cost. What do you mean by maintenance cost? Such as depreciation. 
You know that when you buy a machine, you cannot use this machine forever. The value of the machine will decrease every year by a certain amount, which is called depreciation. So if our investment is bigger than depreciation, this means that our capital will increase because our capital will accumulate over time. And this is why we will have an increase in capital. But on the other hand, we could have a decline in capital. If we have a negative shock to productivity, this could be either natural or man-made. Natural such as an earthquake, a disaster that happens, or man-made such as a civil war. The next part of the question is, what is the new level of output for country A when we increase its capital to 4200? So we need to substitute in our Cobb Douglas production function. Our y equals a k to the power theta multiplied by m to the power 1 minus theta. I know that theta here is the power of k, which is 1 over 4, it's 0 0.25. Consequently, the power of m is 3 over 4, which is 0 0.75. Then I will substitute a by 6, and then k is 4200, and m is 600. So this will give us a higher output of 5855.68. Why? Because in this formula, if we increase k, I know that output will be higher. And that's why output here, after increasing k, will be bigger. The next part of the question is, calculate the new MBK based on the new higher capital. So we will substitute in the formula of k, or you can just write the Cobb-Douglas production function and get the first derivative for k. So we will use the formula, which is MBK equals theta, multiplied by a, multiplied by n over k, all of them to the power 1 minus theta. Then I know that theta here is the power of k, which is 1 over 4, which is 0 0.25. And then 1 minus theta will be 1 minus 0 0.24, 0 0.25, which is 0 0.75. Then we'll substitute here. So our mbk will be equal to 0 0.25 multiplied by a of 6, multiplied by n of 600, divided by k of the new k, which is 4200. All of this to the power 0 0.75. So this will give us an mbk of... 0.3486. The next part of the question is, what happens to the MBN as a result of a change in K? So when we increase K, what will happen to MBN? So let's calculate MBN. Our MBN formula is 1 minus theta multiplied by A multiplied by K over N to the power theta. I know that theta is the power of K, which is 1 over 4, which is equal to 0 0.25. So 1 minus theta is 1 minus 0 0.25, which is 0 0.75, multiplied by a, multiplied by k over n to the power theta of 0 0.25. So let's substitute. Our mbn will be equal to 0 0.75, multiplied by a of 6, multiplied by k of 4200, divided by n of 600, all of this to the power 0 0.25. So our mbn will be 7.3196. And this will be our new marginal product of labor. So what happens to the MBN as a result of the change in K? Let's put our old results and our new results when we get a higher K. So now for the same country, A, I will put A star when we change it K. So we have the same productivity. We have the same labor, but now we increase capital in the new scenario. So I'd like to know, when we increase capital, what will be the effect on our total production? So here, if I increase capital, our total production will increase because capital is a numerator, so they have a positive relationship. So I know that our output will be higher when we increase capital. So this is one thing. So when we increase capital, our output will increase. But at the same time, what will happen to MBK? I know that we increased capital, but we didn't change labor. Consequently, based on the law of diminishing marginal return, when we increase capital, the productivity of an additional unit of capital will be lower. Therefore, MBK will be lower. Therefore, if we check here, we'll discover that MBK is lower when we increase capital. What will happen to the marginal product of labor? I know that when we increase capital, our output increased for the same number of labor. Therefore, the productivity of an additional unit of labor will be higher. And that's why if we check our MBM, our MBN will be higher. Therefore, I know that when we changed K, when we increased K, our MBN became higher. And you can do it mathematically. This is the formula of MBN. Our MBN is equal to 1 minus theta multiplied by A multiplied by K over N to the power theta. 
k here is a numerator so if we increase k what will happen to our mvm it will increase because you have a positive relationship so higher k would result in higher marginal product of labor